my legacy is I, I want someone to say, I wouldn't have never met Jesus if it had not been for him. That's what I want to be remembered for. And you can tell when someone's been praying because their continents changes. How do you know that he's a friend in a lonely hour until everybody else walks off and leaves you? I know it because my faith has been tried and a faith that has not been tested is also faith cannot be trusted. If your faith cannot go through a test, we can't trust that kind of faith. Can, everybody can brag about a faith that they have when nothing's going on. We can shout and give God glory. We can count it all joy when nothing's going on. But can you give God praise when the bottom of your world is falling out? But I'm getting ready to bring you to a circumstance that only the power of God is going to be able to rectify. Someone say with me, step outside of your comfort zone. Yes, yeah, stretch a little bit, stretch a little bit. You got to change the scenery because you'll never desire anything greater if you don't see something greater. And I know every person that's ready to be stretched because when you see something greater, you go for it. God, here's a new clean environment. Here's a new clean space. Here's a new clean mind. Put a new vision in my mind so I can start seeing what I haven't seen before I want to purge this moment. I want to take the dirt off your life today and resurrect your dreams and resurrect your hopes. I want to resurrect your vision and tell you that you are blessed and highly favored. It's not too late. It's not too late for you. It's not too late for you to become what God has called you to be. God skillfully made you and wonderfully, complexly made you. So man's purpose, potentials, and possibilities can be endless. Get ready for it, because God get ready to bring some fruit out of your dreams, some fruit out of your vision, some fruit out of your prayers, some fruit out of your giving. Some of y'all haven't seen it yet, but get ready to see some things come to pass. I dare you to step out on faith. I dare you to step out of your comfort zone and get what God has for you. I dare you to dream again. I don't want to just be a preacher. I want to be the one who does it. And that's one of our mottos in our church is that we, uh, we live what we believe.